Hi everybody. Here I have taken a window. It is in the form of a rectangle surmounted by semicircular opening and the total perimeter of this window it is 10 meters. Find the dimensions of the rectangle so as to admit maximum amount of light through the whole opening. So let's start considering the length and height of the rectangle as X and Y. And radius of the semicircle, it will be X by 2, half of this length. So I am writing here radius equal to X by 2. Now we need to find the equations for the perimeters. How to get that? It is nothing but adding this X to y and the length of this or perimeter of this semicircle and it is equal to 10. Now in next step we can write it as this one. Also, it can be written like this, then right here we can get the equations for the y equal to this 5 minus x in bracket pi plus 2 by 4. This is the equations for y and these equations or the value for the y we will use in the equations for area. Let's see in the next slide. Here, what you can see, equation, this is the equations for the area, this one x into y and this is half pi r square. Now, this y, what you got in previous slide, the expressions for y, we are substituting that here. So we get this area equal to like this. So this is the final form for A, this expression for the area. Now we need to differentiate both sides of these equations. Why? Because once we differentiate these equations, that results we will write equal to zero because to get the maximum area. Because as you know, first derivative equal to zero is considered for getting the maximum area. Even after getting those and value of the x, again we will do differentiations to get the second derivative to get the proof that the value is negative or less than 0. So first we do that, differentiations. Now in next slide we will check it by putting this de first derivative equal to 0 to find the value for x and then we will go for the second derivative. So let's see in the next slides. So here we got what? First derivative. Now, as I said, to get maximum or minimum area, we must consider that first derivative equal to 0. So right here we can write as 
this right hand side part equal to 0. From here we can find the value for x. This is the value for x. Now we need to go for finding the second derivatives. Let's see in next slide. So first derivative I brought it here. Now go for second derivative because already I have written here second derivative must be less than 0. So this is second derivative from here we got differentiating both sides of these equations we get this x it is gone because after differentiation it becomes 1. So our result is this and it looks negative. So surely we can write it is less than 0. So once we get less than 0 it means for x equal to this, this value area is maximum. So what will be the dimensions for the rectangle? So we can find y equal to, this is equations for the y and here it was actually x. So we substituted this place with the value of this x. Now in next step we can write this as this. So this is our result y equal to 10 by x I mean pi plus 4 already we know x equal to 20 by pi plus 4 so already we got both we got the value for x we got the value for y so maximum a to admit maximum light we can write we need length x equal to 20 by pi plus 4 height y we need 10 by pi plus 4 that's the value we need. So we are done for this problem. That's all for this.